This is the worst job in the world. They are showered in sewage, but they only work two hours. Today. They collapse after two hours, and they're carried out, and they're replaced by men who are still breathing. That's pretty much what they do even today. This principle has simply been automated. Brunel had miners wearing oh, cross rail and um, tunnel boring machines. Brunel had bricklayers. Cross rail has precast concrete sections. This is the birthplace of the chip. Swinney Peter Hall now. One more time! No worries. Thanks for playing. What's up, guys? So, let's find a diverse way of finding our next two victims. Okay. What do we do? It, it goes out to the only people sitting down watching this awesome thing right now. Yes. So, I think, I don't know. What should we do? I don't know. Um, who came the furthest? I want to know who came the furthest. Whoever comes from Scotland, put your hand up. Whoever come from out of the country? He just put that up like that. Yeah. Where, where are you from? Belgium. Come down here. Come on, Belgium. Come on, One more. If you come from Birmingham, America, Wales, <laughs> Midlands, anywhere. How about Accrington? Where are my Accrington Stanley fans out today? Well, you're no, gonna have to no, do no, the no, put your hand no. up after three. <laughs> One. Two, 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 nine, three. Uh, oh. He said nine. He said nine. He said three. Oh, you choose. I don't know. I the, don't lady, know. the lady in the green, the lady in the green, definitely. She's desperate. The lady in the green. Desperate to come up, up you come. Up you come, please. Stand in the middle here. Turn the face of camera for me, please, guys. Oh, this game Stand is serious up. now. Oh. The cape is off. He took his rucksack off. We're ready to rumble. It's backpack. Yeah. It's called the backpack. So, what's your name and where are you from? Uh, Maxim from Belgium, Bruges. Nice. What language does people from Belgium speak? What language, exactly. is, <laughs> what language does people from Belgium speak? Dutch. Dutch. How do you say what's up, dude, in Dutch? That's another hot must. Exactly, I knew, I knew it. I, was really, I, I, I knew that was a Sick. So, what have you come dressed as today? Yeah, I'm doctor from Doctor Who. Nice. What nice. Do you want, and what do you want to be when you grow up? Comic book creator in learning now. I like it. Comic book creator. In the best place. In yeah. the best place. Jesse, ask them questions. What's your name and where are you from? Zona and I am from Charlton. Charlton. And what do you want to be when you grow up? I don't ever want to grow up. That's a great answer. So, That's a good answer. so we're going to get the beans out basically. All we're going to do is you're going to put one in each hand, taste it. I'll tell you what it is when it's out of your hands because I think I know it by now. Um, and then you're going to win a prize. So let's go, Jesse. Oh, the other baby white oh, coconut. No, that is, it's got a yellow tint, so that's, um, I think it's, yeah, it's either caramel or egg. And that one's toothpaste or berry blue. Okay. Let's Three, go. two, one, go. go, eat. You can tell on the face. Uh-oh. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Oh, even worse, oh. coconut. <laughs> Guys, you've been absolutely sports. Put your hand in there and grab a prize for me, please. Another Ouija t-shirt out of the bag. And a rock star. Well you done. are a rock star. Woo! Free stuff. Well done. Thank you very much, guys. A round of applause. We are now going to go straight into our interview with Jesse and Blakey for British Treasure America Gold. So don't go nowhere, guys. All right. So, Blakey and Jesse are now going to do this before we start this interview. Three at the same time. So that's vomit. So, oh, you've got two vomit and one egg. But it could be peach or coconut. Anything, so what I, got, I got three here. You've got three. You've got, you've got stinky socks and two eggs. Okay, so I got eggy socks. Eggy socks and eggy vomit. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's good. Triple whammy. Cool. So let's start this interview before you've got time to digest. Yeah, let's do it. Right, British Treasure American Gold. The it's greatest show of all time. Oh, yeah. Go on. Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Quest. 
Taylor, Jesse, and Blakey. Tell us a bit about yourselves, guys. So, Jesse, you kick off. My name is Jesse McClure. I'm 29 years young, single, living in the UK. If there's any pretty British girls out there looking for love, give me a call. I'm also on a show called British Central <laughs> American Gold. Um, it's my next step from Storage Hunters. Anyone seen Storage Hunters before? Storage Hunters fans? Storage Hunters UK haters? Yeah! Anyway, so uh, this is the next thing that I got going on. Um, it's kind of like Rock and Roll Antiques Roadshow. So I travel around with my big, beautiful black girlfriend, Lily, and uh, my purple hair, whatever he is, going Spun. around buying the craziest <laughs> things ever, uh, all up and down the UK, and uh, getting in trouble along the way. Nice, so Blakey, a bit about yourself, please. My name's Blakey, we create cupcakes for a living. Um, I have purple hair for one reason. I like to stand out from the crowds, and uh, I do it in style. Yeah, Thank you. round of applause Thank for Blakey. You. Lovers of my cupcakes, or lovers of purple, I don't know. <laughs> um,
The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can take it and keep moving forward. How much you take and keep moving forward. That's how good it is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits. And not point the finger saying, you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? It's Briody has sculpted from Majora's Mask. Briody has sculpted from Majora's Mask. For a second, just to not spoil the suspense, the spoil, yeah, spoil the suspense or whatever. Um, basically, just got a magazine there, uh, business card. I'll start to talk about that in a second. Uh, this guy took a picture of me, he's a, a demon slayer amateur photography. Uh, fucking shit. I don't know what this is. I um, think they do like indie kind of make their own films kind of shit. Uh, some sort of shit. This, oh my god, this is coming soon to the theatres. The UK theatres, Yu Gi Oh! The movie, Dark Side of Dimensions. I cannot wait for it, it's gonna be amazing. Uh, just got the book here, it's a normal book from uh, Comic Con, so that's right. Got these free comics kind of things from um, panel. I went to go get that, that, that um, DC Rebirth. Uh, panel, but for some reason they didn't show up, which was annoying, so I got those instead. So, uh, moving on, uh, another guy took a picture of me, fake flyer, uh, Magic Madhouse, you can get uh, discount, see there, Pika 16, you get 25 pound off, the thing there, the fucking thing. So, here we go, we got uh, Flash, Kid Flash, with Robin, which is good. I got this one I got today. Uh, fastest man alive. When I think uh, Wally West is unable to walk because he's in a wheelchair. Uh, another good one was uh, the Flash, quick and the dead. I really like that kind of detailing. If I can just can't hold it up, see look. I mean that is just like, beautiful. See that proper lighting is nice. And here we go. Piece de resistance. This Flash comic goes well with my Iron Man one, 
and I mean it's just so cool. It just doesn't really show on, on the camera, but it looks really, really, really nice. Uh, this my friend got me for my birthday. Let's open it up. Pokemon badges from uh, Johto. And I've already got Kanto ones, but these are nice metal ones. So yeah, nice little box. It's good. And I got these. I got I traded this one. So I got Bambi. I got a Back to the Future one. I got a Yu-Gi-Oh one. And I got I uh, four Lilo and Stitch ones. One, two, three, four. No, five. Okay, I'll put more than I thought. Five. And then the last one is another Yu-Gi-Oh. So yeah, so I bought all them. They're cool. Sorry, my <laughs> you don't want to see that. Um, I got this as well. From Andrew Lee Potts, wireless uh, web series, and you get 45 minutes of kind of like zoom in, come on, focus. There we go. You get uh, outtakes and behind the scenes stuff, 45 minutes of that, so that's good. I've got this card today as well, which is very nice. I traded um, three cards, four cards for it. Paid 50p. I really, really like that one. Really shiny shit. Uh, I've got this poster, and it's about uh, Blastoise fighting Charizard from the first series. Sorry, I keep showing my towel, my radiator, so. And i got this as well, which is the Legendary Collection box, the Seal of Ori Calcos, which is very, very nice. I'll open that up uh, in a minute. And uh, my my main piece is this. Is this, um, I'm trying to put it on my bed here real quick. Is this, it's the origin, original cell picture, a cell, cell gel art. It's this, these guys. Uh, again, fucking. There we go. Original cell masterpieces from Japan. So check these guys out. They've got some really great stuff. And yeah, I mean, just seriously go look them up. Fucking amazing. But yeah, I got this for £130, which was very, very nice. Talked them down, you know, a little bit. But I mean, <clears throat> I wanted something with Krillin. And I saw these guys um, at London Film Comic Con, I think, or Harvey Japan. And at the time, I had no money, but now I do. So. And I wanted something, sorry, my dog just came in. Come on, get out. Get out. <laughs> I wanted something with Krillin on. And I saw this one again, so I think it was, it was still there last time. And still, they had some other ones, and it wasn't as good as this one because, for one, it also has trunks, and the new black arc is just great. And obviously, Krillin there, and you see the original kind of drawing, which is very nice. But the best, best thing is, look around to the back, and there's trunks. That is an amazing picture of trunks. I need to get that. Frames like just on its own because I think it's amazing. Like Trunksk, and the picture there saying tongue, yeah, that's just so great. And you got the uh, COA somewhere, probably behind the picture. But yeah, it's like a one of a kind piece, and I really, really love it. I cannot wait to get it up on my wall. But I mean, yeah, uh, overall, I think I've spent around about 250 pounds at Comic Con. So I mean, I've got that. I've got the pictures. I've got the comics. Angelique got the cards. Yeah, I'm very happy with this year's haul, and I um, I look forward to next year's haul. Oh God, just a fall over. So I will leave you with the last picture of this awesome, awesome artwork. I mean, oh God, can't wait to get on the wall. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next haul video. Goodbye.